Hi, this is Cookie. Today I'm going to show you a quick technique of uh, putting a chain on a spline, which is surprisingly easy. This is a little project I wanted to do and I wondered how to do it. And uh, anyway, let's start with a rectangle. I'm going to make the dimensions 30 wide by 50 deep. And uh, we're going to turn on rounding and leave that at 15 so it looks pretty much like the shape of the chain link. Put a circular spline in there for the section of the chain, make that 3, which will obviously make it uh, 6 across, which is about right. Now, while that's highlighted, we'll get a sweep nerve, hold down the Alt key, and then drop the rectangle into that. Come on, come on, that's it, there you go. Right, grab the sweep nerve, put it in a MoGraph clone there, again hold the Alt down, and you'll see that's uh, cloned it in the Y direction by default, it's got 50 on there. But because of the thickness of the chain, we want to make that 44, so that the links um, just about touch each other. Now to make it into a chain, instead of a load of links standing uh, or going through each other, we need to change the step rotation to 90 and there you go, you've got a fairly convincing looking chain just put a colour on there so we can see what's going on and obviously there's lots of tutorials that have got this sort of thing on, I've since found out thinking that was very clever finding out how to do it, but obviously you can extend the chain as much as you like now right, I'm going to change the front view make the spline we're going to use you can be any kind of spline but I quite like using a, <coughs> a B spline because it gives a nice smooth shape doesn't matter what shape it is just something to, to go on right now with that highlighted we're going to go up and grab the spline wrap deformer <coughs> excuse me and uh, in the while that's highlighted the spline wrap, we'll drag our spline into the spline field there so it knows what it's looking at. And uh, grab that lot, stick it in a null that the spline will take outside of that, so we'll play with that later. Now, on the spline wrap, we'll need to change the axis to plus y, and you can see that's already kind of doing what we want but uh, the chain is too short so it's just sorting it wildly but if we add plenty of links to it just till it looks about right and so this isn't a sort of dynamics technique it's a it's almost a cheat because you're making the chain fit to the spline so that you can manipulate the spline without having to use dynamics on it which uh, I think can be quite helpful So we can leave that on fit to spline. We can close the spline so it's a complete loop. And it's already, as you can see, looking pretty convincing. And then if you want to get the uh, waviness that was going on there on the little uh, movie that I played to begin with, that's just literally adding a wind deformer into the spline. Let's just whack the frequency up to five. And hopefully, if we play that, you can see it's doing the job. And that's it. Thanks a lot. See you later.